Hey Ziggy. What's up, buddy? See how the old clay's doing here. With the garden in good shape, at least for the time being, it's time to get back to a project that has, admittedly, taken way too long. We wanted an earth oven for a while, and I finally started one last summer. What are you woofing about? Huh? You want to go out or something? Give me a second. I got as far as laying the rubble foundation and topping that with a layer of clay and soil. Then I got sidetracked. And come fall, I had to admit that I wasn't going to get any further and decided to bring in four buckets of clay I'd harvested from the pond. They fared remarkably well over winter, wrapped in plastic. Now, it's time to reconstitute them and get back to construction. Where are you going, Ziggy? We're not going in there. I'm using two main points of reference for the research and construction of the Nights and Weekends Homestead Earth Oven. The book, Build Your Own Earth Oven by Kiko Denzer, and an actual hands-on workshop I took several years ago at the Maine Organic Farmers and Gardeners Homestead Day, an annual event at the Common Ground Country Fairgrounds in Unity, Maine. Homestead Day consists of dozens of workshops and activities designed to give people skills they can use to become better homesteaders. One year, there was an entire track dedicated to rebuilding the earth oven that sits on the property used by the Mofka farmers and residents. I signed up in a heartbeat, and it was well worth a day dedicated to hands-on learning, as it gave me the confidence to step out of the realm of reading Denzer's book several times and into the realm of actually putting what I'd learned into action on our homestead. The next step to our oven is to build the dense layer of earth that will sit beneath the hearth floor and act as an insulated heat sink. It will be made from a clay and wood shaving slurry encasing glass bottles, the method favored by Denzer. Following the recommendations, I'm soaking this clay for a few days to ensure it has the right consistency for mixing with the wood shavings, and then building that bottom layer. Ugh. I think she's in the basement, bud. Now that I have the clay soaking, and the next step on that project is just to wait a few days, it's time to restart yet another project that was started last summer, but never finished, for lack of time, or lack of prioritization, or lack of focus, or all three. The walkway from the deck to the fire pit is finished, but after the fire pit patio, the walkway remains an eyesore and reminder that I have trouble finishing projects before getting excited about another one. Eventually, my hope is that this walkway leads to a natural swimming pool. That's years away, but there's no reason the walkway needs to remain in this sorry state. I dumped this pile of sand here knowing I would get to it eventually. I guess that's now.
While I didn't intentionally break this project into two sections, the fact that I did, and the fact that I've had three seasons between them, allows me to take what I've learned into account in finishing the second half. There was a lot more settling than I anticipated in the first half of the walkway, which means that while the field stone is still flat and relatively level, which is nice, it sits below the cedar logs I used as edging. For this half, I'm going to leave the field stone a little proud of the logs, and also try to put a crown in the walkway to help it shed water toward the edges instead of relying solely on the drainage gravel I put down as a base. My ultimate goals are for the walkway to look nice, withstand foot traffic, and for the lawnmower to pass over the edging easily to make for less work in maintaining the edge of the lawn. That project's nearly finished, and I have about an hour, I estimate, before dark. I just happen to have one more row of tomatoes to trellis, and I think that's just the right amount of time. Uh, taking a little second here to do an update. I've been shooting lots of footage but I haven't had a chance to convert any of it to actual videos for the channel. That's the way it goes in summer in Maine. We get such a short season when the sun's up. It's nine, past nine o'clock now. Sun's still up. Still enough light to work out here in the garden. It's really hard to go in and sit at a computer and work on videos by the time it is full dark and I can't do anything else out here I'm too tired to work on videos so I'm a little bit behind I do have a lot of footage I've been uh, let's see I sharpened the side I'm gonna do a video about that how to sharpen a side using a jig I mowed with it to try to start clearing the fence line over by the woods the grass is really high so it's shorting out over there I've been working on the fence along the driveway it's shorting out over there now because I've got a lot of new trellising up for the grapes and the, the wires touching it so I've got a lot to do there also made a lot of progress I just finished trellising the last row of tomatoes and then I went through and uh, pruned off all the little suckers on the tomatoes that are already trellised the sunflowers the first round of sunflowers I planted where the beans are next to the lettuce they're about mm, I think the tallest ones three and a half four feet tall they're looking great. The ones that are right behind me, not so much. I'm not sure they're all gonna survive. Some of them are looking okay. The potatoes aren't up yet. Let's see, what else have I done? Oh, I finished, uh, or not finished, almost finished the second half of the walkway that comes off the deck. A couple of you have commented on that. What else have I done? The scapes, scape season's over. Picked the last of those this morning. We got back from a trip. We went down to Portland, which is Maine's largest city, 
They have a minor league baseball team, Portland Sea Dogs. We went to a game last night, stayed overnight down there. Got back this afternoon and I've been working in the garden since then. Which was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, lots going on. Lots to catch up on. I promise to get those videos up as soon as I can. See you guys later.